don't normally get to go inside of the cat, which looks pretty cool. Get to see where they show, talk to show both. I'm going to take us all to the beach. The beautiful beach community of Amity Island. Now, I know what you're thinking. You think that Amity Island is crazy. It's terrorized by Amity. It does. You can feel what so does. Why did you take us to that beach? as you know, was actually one of Steven Spielberg's first major motion pictures. It's really what put him on the map, and he did it at Universal Studios. All right, I'm just getting the word from the lifeguard here. The beach is clear. We are good to go. Awesome. Oh, it looks like they caught a shark there. So I really don't think there's anything for us to worry about. We got our trusty police guard in the water there. Oh. What are you pointing at, guys? Guys, that is a dolphin fish. That is a friendly dolphin. He's going to go play around our police diver. I really don't think there's anything for us to worry about. Is this a... Uh, I can tell you that's fun to find out here. That's not a friendly guy. Batting in that knee. Alright, uh, Rob, well, why don't we go ahead and pull behind these uh, tanks of um, Flamaba. I don't know what Flamaba is, but it sounds delicious. Stay right here. There we go. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, oh, what's going on with the doctor? Right now, that's what you got. Send it to me from the back. Whoa. You're not going to lie, that actually feels kind of good right now. <laughs> well, hopefully I'll find this and get to us. It's too hot. Oh, my goodness, what's this? Oh, that's Does anyone know what kind of shark that is? Plastic. That's the kind of shark that is. Now, mechanical shark Bruce actually looks a lot better than the shark Steven Spielberg had when he saw Jaws back in 1975. In fact, I was first day of filming mechanical shark to sink to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Here's tell you more about the troubles of shooting with a mechanical shark Steven Spielberg and some of the cats for the movie Jaws. That's a bunch of people on the shark. It's a bunch of people on the shark. It's a bunch of people on the shark. Wherever you see where I'm at, you hear the radio. They were always saying, the shark is not working. The shark is not working. We just waited a minute. The shark is working. It's low enough for a while there. So I really always talk a lot. Oh, there you go. Oh, there Steven Spielberg named the shark Bruce after his lawyer. Very nice guy. Where well, we just experienced Jaws, that was also Gavin Cove, the home of Jessica Fletcher on 12 successful seasons of Murder, She Wrote, starring Angela Lansbury. Never thought you'd hear Angela Lansbury and Jaws in the same sentence, but there you go. It just happened. Let's take a look on the right-hand side. There's our chicken ranch set. It's been the home of some of your favorite stars. Like Dolly Parton, John Travolta, Scott Bakula, 
Beethoven, and um, uh, that guy. I do not know who that is. All right. Get your cameras ready. One of the most desired places in television is coming up. It's the town of Fairview, and it's home to some very desperate housewives. That's right. Welcome to Wisteria Lane. I'm going to point out the houses on the left-hand side. We'll move around, and I will point out the houses on the left. First up, Mustard Colored House on the left. That's a home of Gabrielle, played by Eva Longoria Parker on the show. Lives there with her husband, Carlos. Living next to them, that's where Bob and Lee live. That house has the highest turnover rate on the street. Probably because it started at 1313 Mockingbird Lane, home of the Mustard. Living next to the Yellow House, that's where Susan lives, played by Terry Hatcher. Fitting that she's the scoop of the program that used to be the Hardy Boys house. Living next to her in the greenhouse, that's where Lynette lives, day five, Blisky Huffman. And in the pink house at the end of the row, that used to belong to E, played by Nicholas Sheridan. But she's no longer on the show. I'm not going to tell you why. No spoilers on my tour, rent the DVDs from Netflix. We'll figure it out soon enough. As we move around, take a look at all the wisteria on Wisteria Lane because it is all fake. The reason why we need to keep it in bloom for six months out of the year, we do the filming. All we do, we just spray it with a little bit of water and it looks absolutely real when it's shot on film. The Blue and Brick House on the left hand side, that's the home of Reed, played by Martha Cross. She's the perfect housewife with the perfect floral arrangements on the front yard. And then again, her, that's where Mary Jane was the narrator for the very first episode of Desperate Housewives before she committed suicide and sparked the entire series. That's how that's what happened in the first episode. That was always a mystery. Just the Housewives did it seven seasons, with the newest Housewives joining them this season being Vanessa Williams has joined the cast. And even though all the houses are not occupied by Housewives, they're all decorated in the same Wisteria Lane fashion, because when we pull back to do a wide shot of the entire street, we need to make you believe this is an actual suburban town.